How are you doing guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach and the video that you are about to see is basically part of a live stream that I held in my new Facebook group called the Agency Scale and Fast Track Community. It's for existing agency owners that want more help or better results with their processes, their systems, as well as their Facebook ads. And the great thing about it all, it is completely free. So if you are an existing agency owner, which means that you've got you know, at least one client and you've been doing this for a while and you wanna take it to the next level, you wanna basically you know engage with like-minded people, people that are at the same level as you, then feel free to join the AMZ Scale and Fast Track community. The link will be in the first comment. Uh, like I said, it's completely free, so uh, there's no upsell or anything like that. There's also a free mini course called the Agency Scale and Fast Track uh, mini course, which basically just takes you through a few, uh, through a few modules of the Consult X program just to help you know get started and get more clients and implement more systems etc as well as a free ebook on facebook ads and scaling as well so if this sounds interesting to you and you are an existing agency owner then feel free to click on that first link in the comments so not in the description box it is the first uh, link in the comments and without rambling on too much we'll now hop into the video no i don't waste no time Okay guys, so this is a question that I get quite often and it's uh, basically regarding the totals that don't add up at the bottom. So obviously you know, ever since all of these changes within Facebook because of iOS 14 and so on and so forth, um, a lot of the totals don't tally up at the bottom here. So as we can see, uh, 19K spent, we can see a bunch of uh, purchases and purchase conversion values here. We've got a couple of row assets here, but at the bottom, it actually says purchase conversion value, zero dollars. Um, the amount of purchases don't tally up, the cost per page doesn't tally up, and the return ad spend doesn't tally up either. Now, a lot of you um, are struggling with this, a lot of you can't figure out why this is, and it's got to do with the attribution setting. So for those of you that do not know what the attribution setting is, it's basically a window in which Facebook will allocate a purchase to a particular ad set or campaign or you know in the ads manager um, to begin with so for example prior to all of this that you know all of this iOS 14 stuff um, the attribution window was 28 day click one day view which meant that if someone clicked on your advertisements and purchased within 28 days, you will see that purchase in the ads manager. You'll see exactly what campaign it came from, what ad set it came from, and what particular ad it came from. Then when Apple announced all of this iOS 14 stuff, Facebook changed from the 28 day click one day view to a seven day click one day view, which was already available prior to all of this iOS 14 stuff, but a lot of people use the 28 day attribution setting because it basically allowed us to have more data. Okay, so what a lot of people then did, uh, like I said, is started to move from 28 day um, to seven day click within the newer campaigns. However, the older campaigns were still on 28 day click because let's face it, you know, if you've got a very large ad account, you're not gonna go back down every single campaign and you know start changing the attribution set, etc. It just takes up too much time. So there's a few ways around this, um, and especially with newer campaigns, you know, it's, it's easier to do. If you have an existing client, you might need to go in. Um, and change a few things, but um, I'll basically explain, you know, how I've overcome this and why, you know, you, or how we can basically see the settings, etc. Okay, so first things first, what you need to do is you need to go to columns and customize columns and make sure attribution setting is part of the columns that you've selected. So by default, it's performance. I was going to say performance and clicks, but it's actually performance. 
And I think by default now, it's already part of the performance columns, which you can see here, attribution setting. So we can see that the top two campaigns are on seven day click. The third campaign is on seven day click or one day view. And then if we scroll down, we've got a few on 28 day click, which like I said, were the previous campaigns. So as you can see, 14th of September, 2020, um, this is actually not even our campaign. This is before we actually took over. Um, we can see all of these are on 28 day click. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to select only those on a particular attribution setting. So for example, let's say we select all of the 28 day click campaigns. So let me just select all of these here till about here, there we go. And then we go to search and filter and we then select filter by selection. As we can see now, the totals are tallying up again. So 3,699 spent, um, let's see the pages, 70 purchases. And then if we select our own columns again, we can then see that they spent 3.6, they've gotten back 5.1 and their return ad spend is 1.4. Okay, so again, side note, we, the, the, these are not our results. These are from uh, the client itself, I think, because th this client was run as um, herself before we took over. Okay, we took over on the 28th of October, um, and by that time, the seven day click was already sort of in full effect. So if you wanna deselect the filter, all we need to do is go on the left top and deselect the campaigns that we've selected. And like I said, the same goes for the seven day click. So if we now select all and deselect all, and then we select the top, oh, selected all by accident there again. So we select all, where is it? From here and then we select them all here. Now I'll probably blur this out, um, but for those of you that are actually watching this live on Facebook, obviously you can see that the BP in the campaign name stands for Brand Pioneer, which is my agency, and that is also a way for you guys to very easily um, sort of separate your campaigns from the previous agency or the previous uh, whoever's run the ads previously, you know, separate it from their campaigns as well. So. If you're on an old account, nowadays it might be a bit, bit um, a little bit more difficult, but what we could do when we took over a lot of accounts because of the iOS 14 stuff, uh, what we actually did was we started giving our campaign names the 7D sort of um, initials you know, in the name, which meant that, you know, seven day click of course, which meant that if we filtered by 7D, we would get all of our campaigns, which were all on seven day click. So you can do the same with your initials as well. Um, let's say you've taken over an account and uh, all of the all the campaigns are on 28 day click and all of your campaigns are going to be on seven day click of course or seven day click one day view depending on what one you choose. Um, and in this case, you know, my initials are BP. So if we filter by BP, we will get all of the campaigns with a seven day attribution setting. Now, quick side note, um, just because it's on seven day click, does not mean you'll be able to see all of it, okay? So only select seven day click or only select seven day click one day view because both of those attribution settings are different, okay? The one day click, if that is part of your seven day click attribution setting filter, you won't, it won't tally up. So for example, um, there's even one with one day click here as well. So I'll just deselect that. So we've now got all of the seven day clicks and all of the seven day clicks one day views. And if we now filter by selection, as we can see, the totals are still not tallying up. So what we need to do is just select seven day click or just select seven day click one day view. So we'll have to deselect these two. We have to deselect these two. And I think from there, we've got all of the seven day clicks of the campaigns that we have set up. So again, filter by selection. And there we go. Now the totals are tallying up. So 7,000 spent, 52,000 in page conversion value with a ROAS of 7.3. Okay, now what if, for example, um, you've got campaigns with seven day click, one day view, but also campaigns with seven day click, and you want them to be part of the filter because you know they are campaigns that you've set up, but just over time it's gone to seven day click, one day view. What you can then do, and a very easy way around this, if 
um, especially with if it's a campaign that you're no longer going to use again or no longer going to set up again then what i would probably do is just select those campaigns um, these are actually still on so i will not touch them for now because we're actually still using them and there's a reason why they're on seven day click um, so these two campaigns are switched off we'll then click on edit and then what i will do is i'll go to the ad set level and then optimization and delivery for these seven ad sets show more options seven days after clicking so for those of you that still are unaware about the attribution setting the attribution setting ensures let me just scroll down so we can see that properly um okay so it won't actually show us what it says there maybe and there's literally no way of me showing you guys that my apologies um so what we'll do is we'll edit the seven day click to seven day click or one day view okay now if we publish this by default it won't actually update so what we need to do is we need to um, set this to cbo or make a small change basically to make sure that these actually update so we can't do this right now I think because we've selected multiple campaigns let me just double check like I said these are all campaigns guys so I'm not familiar with how we've set these up again so what I'll do is I'll just publish the changes so as you can see here optimization and delivery has changed I can show you guys then I set names for these it doesn't really matter because there's nothing you know of particular value in the uh, in the ad sets or in the names I should say so just waiting for that to update there we go and then what we'll do is we'll refresh the whole page okay and then one of the two is actually already updated and then it's just this abo image tester that hasn't updated so what we'll do is i'll just double check if it is still on seven day click one day view yeah it is so then what we'll do is we will switch on CBO if it's possible. Yes, that is fine. Campaign is switched off anyway, so it doesn't really matter what the ad budget is close. And then if we refresh, that should go to seven day click, one day view. And there we go. So seven day click, one day view. So now, apart from the two campaigns that are on and the one day click campaign, um, basically, if we select all of our campaigns here again, remove the one they click, remove the two that were on, search and filter, filter by selection. Again, we can see our totals add up. So 7,448 7, spent, 53,000 in page conversion value with a 7.13 return on ad spend. As you see, all the attribution settings are the same. Okay. So that is it for that particular question. If you still got any questions or any issues with this, please don't hesitate to reach out and uh, send me a message either on Facebook Messenger or on Instagram.